Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with your morning market stir for Thursday, September 25th. Big bounce yesterday, so we reversed the course of going straight down for two days in a row. We had the stock market up significantly, up above the midpoint of the recent lows to highs, so that's very interesting. S&P up 0.8%, 1991 up 19. 2014 and a half is the all-time high. 1968 was yesterday's low where it bounced right off. So we're above the midpoint action of this recent sell-off. Dow futures added 176, 17,139. And the Nasdaq futures added 51 points, a full 1%, 4088. The record highs are at 4118 and three quarters within striking distance once again. The big mover again, the dollar, new highs, 85.15 up 37, knocking the euro down 78, 127.87. Bonds took off half a point, well, 18 ticks anyways, 136.27. Crude oil made some moves to the downside, but ended up positive on the day, up a dollar and a quarter at 92.80. Again, 90.60 was this weekly low that it bounced right off of. Uh, lastly was gold. Gold was down $2 with that strong dollar again at 12.20. So after the nice surge yesterday and the comeback, where do the market stand here on this Thursday morning? Well, we're steady right now in mix. We're down half a point in the S&P, 1990 and a half. And we're up three points in the in the Dow at 17,192. Nasdaq futures are down two at 4086. The dollar continues to surge up another 34, 8540, knocking the euro currency now down to 127.26, down another one 61 ticks. Bonds are up a few ticks here at 137.04. The yields have been pushed 327 on the 30-year, 2.55 on the 10-year note, maintaining above the two and a half percent for right now. Crude oil is off a dime at 92.70, but again, made a higher weekly low this week than in the, in the past here. Uh, the weekly low so far has been 90.60 to keep an eye on. And lastly, dollar surge. What do you think is going to happen? Gold's getting knocked down to 12.09, down $10 in that market with 11.88, that extreme low from last December to keep an eye on. So to wrap up the current action with two hours ago before the stock market opened, we're steady and mixed after the rally yesterday. We're down half a point in the E-mini S&P. We're up three points in the Dow futures. I will see you early Friday morning for your morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.